All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I need to pick eggs and milk. Um, so we had our big sell-off yesterday, and today I think we're going to run down to the shop and buy some stuff for my house. Um, and then next year we'll work on upgrading the farm equipment. But As of yet, I've been doing the farm maintenance for my wife. Um I know supposedly she'll do this. Um, I don't know if she puts them in the pantry or not. I think she does from what I understand. And then I'll even start some more produce. I don't think it'll be ready by the end of the month, but it'll allow us to have produce so she can make delicious treats that we can eat or sell. All right, so there's that. I know people always yell at me for shutting the doors, but this is real life, right? Real farmer's life. Let's milk them cows. Cow butt. <laughs> and if we have enough money left over after doing the house upgrades, I will get a larger tipper uh, for the farm. It'd be nice to not have to make 50 trips every time we have a harvest, but really it's only once a year. So it's not like, once again, the tractor power that we have for the farm, it'd be nice to have a bigger tractor, bigger harvester. But we only have three fields, so it's kind of like, why bother? You know, I don't know. Like it's, it's enough what we have. Milk the cow. That's his butt, not his udder. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I feel like we need to save up like a couple hundred thousand dollars and then we'll look at <laughs> upgrading the equipment. But that's possible in the next two years. And that's probably how, you know, you really would work as a farm. I don't think we have a bank where we can take out a loan or anything like that. So... Take it easy. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, I can't remember. I think we're done with all the field work. I know these fields are already... Um, should be, yeah, 100% manure, 100% fertilized, and it's planted with wheat. I just want to run up and check this other field and make sure that we put Fertex on it. This one's for sure. Yep. 94%, but that's still close. So we should have time, if today's the 17th, right, or 15th, we should have enough time for one more round of, like, cow juice. We can to sell milk and, um, hang on. Yep, this is all done. Okay. Uh, we can sell milk and we can sell eggs at the end of the year for a little bit more of a boost at the fair. Uh, and we'll see how that does. Uh, but that will give us a couple thousand dollars more. Um. Poor Babs. She's just texting me. She's sick. My real life wife is ill. Her, her kids brought home some kind of respiratory disease. Probably COVID. Not really. She, uh, Emily had it for like three days. Though maybe, who knows, with the way things go, might be. Hopefully not. But anyway, my wife has been sick for a couple days and she's not feeling so good. I'm excited because in real life, actually, we are at September 20-something. We're just a couple days ahead of the game. Uh, these are not done yet. Man, it's taking a long time. And these are not done yet either. So we got our peppers and we got our um, green peppers are still growing. Uh, and that's it, so... So in real life, we're at the end of the season also, and I'm excited because I get to go to England in a couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to visit my wife. Uh, I'll be there for three weeks because that's how long we have to be there. I'll take Farmer's Dynasty with me, so we'll continue this series. Uh, probably we'll take SnowRunner with me too. We'll continue. It'll be on the laptop. Unfortunately, it means the quality will not be as great as it is here, but it'll still be good. 
So it'll be viewable, and the story will continue. That way I can, can keep my series going while I'm over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a couple of weeks with my wife. I really miss her, and this has been rough. This COVID stuff really sucks. Uh, thankfully, because we're married, I'm allowed to see her and, be, and travel, but otherwise I would not be able to. But this has been a hard season for her and for me because we miss each other. And uh, thankfully, it's almost over. We did get our, for those of you that have not heard, we did get our approval finally for her to move here to the States. But she has to go through the interview at her embassy and then also um, has to go for the medical. And until that happens, she can't come over. So we are waiting for those things to happen. Unfortunately, the... Um, the embassy has been closed for several months thanks to COVID. It's open again, but they're way behind schedule on their interviews, so it might be next year sometime. We were thinking like she'd be coming over like in a month, but now that we're looking into it, it seems like it's going to be longer than that, so it's kind of frustrating. But at least the main part is that she is approved, and that means she is going to get her uh, green card. However long that takes, she will get it, so that's good. So we're done with that part portion of that portion. We're done with that portion. I'm glad we're done with that portion. We're going to pick these apples. They're delicious. We're going to have some delicious apples. Sorry. Our, our portion of applesauce. Uh, yes, there we go. That is what we're doing right now. So I'm just going to pick these apples off the tree. We're going to make a bunch of applesauce. And we'll sell that at the county fair, too. I should probably sell that today, because I don't think we'll have any more apples after this picking. After today's pickings. Thank God for apples. We can make the applesauce. It'll be delicious. Just like Grandma used to make. Here, Sonny, would you like some applesauce? Have you ever had natural applesauce? It's pretty rough. Like if you don't, because like the applesauce that we get at the grocery store, like the it's processed, and it's got a load of sugar in it. Like they, <laughs> they put tons of sugar in it to make it taste good, and it's like, it's like, uh, it's not great for you. It's bad, bad stuff. <laughs> so when you have natural applesauce, it's like, Ugh, where's the sugar? Like it tastes, it tastes bitter, but it's just not, it's not sweet. And you'd think you know apples, depending on, like if you make. Like if you were to smash up some golden delicious apples, they probably wouldn't be too sweet. But like the like the I like the red delicious, and they're very sugary tasting. And so I think that if you made applesauce from like red delicious apples, they probably like these kind of apples. They probably would be pretty sweet. But like Granny Smith apples, yeah, probably not because they're like super tart. <laughs> it's like the worst applesauce ever. So hang on one second. My wife is texting me. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. And bake some apple sauce. And we're going to take that to the fair and sell it. And then we're going to head over to the store and surprise my wife with some upgrades. Oh, she's cooking. Dang it. She's always hogging the kitchen. Come on, hurry up. I was hoping she'd be done, but she's not. She's going to be a while. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to head out and go to the store. I think since I can't cook yet, I'll have to wait till she's done, and then we'll pick up some stuff. There are a couple more big recipes that I can make. Really, the big money came from the eggs and the milk. That was where most of our stuff came from, so we'll be saving that over the winter, and we'll have a big sell-off next year. It'll be like 10 times that. Because don't forget, we started at like the end of August. This time we'll be starting like in May. So uh, we'll have May, June, July, and August to collect eggs and milk. Uh, and we'll have a lot more produce next year. So we should be able to really just get a home, a home, sl a home run slam dunk, touchdown, uh, all football terminology. Oh, wow. These fields are still, I mean... Honestly, we could buy another set of fields. My only problem with the fields is that they just, like, that's about six to $10,000 worth of grain. Probably more like six. 
So, I don't know. And plus, we don't have the farm equipment. I'm making way more money off the greenhouse. I almost feel like we'd be better off saving for expanded greenhouses and really make a big profit. Because that, like, I think the trick with this game really is to do that kind of stuff. Because uh, the profit's going to come uh, from the vegetables. So, if we can buy more greenhouses, and I know that they sell them, but they're like $200,000. So, we're going to have to wait a couple of years. But... Can you imagine a greenhouse ten times the size of my greenhouse? Like there, let's see where they are. We got yeah, like over here we have greenhouses for sale. We could take a look at that today too. There's one even closer to home here. There's one over here, and you we can make literally hundreds of thousands of dollars off of those. What is this plow field? No thanks. Plow field? No thanks. No thanks. At some point, we're going to have to do those because you get social points. But I think if they said if you want to have high, if you want to hire workers, you have to have over 50,000 social points. Uh, this is not the right store. Where? Which store do I need to go to? I think I need to go to the place where I buy the materials for uh, upgrades for the house. So we'll head over there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording while I drive over there because nothing exciting is going to happen. This is not my summer car. I'll be back. All right. We have arrived at our building material station. And it is time to get to work. Oh, we still have some spackle there or whatever. Okay. That's not what I want to do, but hey, it worked. Okay. We're going to sell the wood glaze. And if we go in here, there's like a second, yeah, furniture store. Oh, these are not bad prices. I thought this was going to be really expensive. But it's going to, I thought it was going to spend, oh, I thought like one of these things was going to cost most of our money, but it ain't. <laughs> Happy birthday, wife. Happy birthday, wife. Here you go. We're totally decking the house out. I mean, I know we're going to be down like in the 20s, but still, we'll go back up again. There we go. Happy wife, happy life. We have completely redone the house. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. Hopefully I'll be able to get my pickup unstuck. And I'm going to head back to the shop and see how much a tipper is. Like I said, we don't need it until next year, but just kind of getting an idea of pricing if we should just hold off and save. There's really no point in buying a tractor until we can afford, like, all the implements that go with it. So... The harvester I'm not so worried about because, once again, we don't have that much field space. It only takes us, like, two days to harvest all of our stuff. So, but I feel like my heart's desire is to expand the greenhouse business. So, let me see. I think I see greenhouses over there, actually. We'll take a look at those. Um, all right, so I'll be back. All right, so here we go. We have arrived at the greenhouses. Let's take a look. Once again, I'm guessing these are like $200,000, so we're not going to be able to afford them now. You could buy this greenhouse. Wait. Oh, okay, why? Okay, there is. You can buy this greenhouse group for $134,000. Wow, that is a long-term goal. Um, I wish, the one thing I do wish they had was a bank. Um... We just don't have a bank anymore, though, in the game. You used to be able to take out a loan, and then you could pay the loan off pretty quick if you made that kind of money. So so we're going to run over to the tractor shop here once again and look and kind of just see what the equipment prices are. There are three different shops with three different sets of equipment, but the equipment that is you know, at both shops, like they don't have like two different tippers. There's like, well, there are two different tippers, but one of them we can't use. That, that cramp tipper... Is far too big for our needs. Um, but. And our hay wagon is just fine. How much is this? I mean, we could afford that. I don't think our tractor can pull that, though. That is a pretty big. I mean, that's really meant for a larger tractor like that. Uh, these, though, our tractor can pull. Uh, dolly trailers don't require as much power. Now, going uphill, you might have an issue, but I know this works with my tractor. <sighs> these are more expensive. Look at that. 
Wow. I'd rather just pay outright for it, but I don't, I don't know, guys. What do you think? We don't need it now. So, I, I mean, it's almost like we don't really need it. Got our cultivator. See, this is not much bigger than my cultivator. I don't know. So I don't really see, like I said, the, the only thing that you really get is a bigger plow that rotates, which makes life a little bit easier. Um, these are going to be like 90,000 bucks, 100,000 bucks. Yeah. How much is the big baler? 35. That's not bad. You can't run. Once again, though, this is an equipment set. So we'd have to buy all these together. It's so funny, these low detail models compared to like farm sim and some of the other games that we play it's like they're just they're so cartoony looking um twenty thousand bucks huh well let's wait till next year i don't i'm not going to splurge yet i think once again I, our primary focus needs to really be on saving up and getting those greenhouses 134 could be possible within a year or two so let's just start saving our ducats we got our house all fixed up we own a nice size farm and we're getting a decent amount of money off of our greenhouse already. So let's see what happens next year and how much we can bring in with what we got. And then we'll look at expanding at that point. Um, hopefully there'll be enough money to to, to grow, but uh, I will um, take one more look here. I wanted to see, I thought I could have sworn they were 200,000 plus. So maybe each greenhouse is a different price. Maybe we can find a set that's more affordable that we can actually purchase today. I don't think so, but I'm, I'm wondering if that's the case. Um, so this other set was up here by our house. North of the house. And then we'll take a look and see how our house came out uh, with all the new furniture. Hopefully we have a very happy wife. Um, actually, we'll stop there first because I just remembered that I have the... Uh, applesauce that I need to make and then we can take that with us so oh, I left the cow door open whoops hi cows good job today folks all right let's see um so we have all new furniture in our house oh this looks great that's oh, the same I'm just kidding um, okay, kitchen. Oh, look at the new kitchen. Fancy. Those are some dark wood cabinets. <laughs> wow, that is some oak. Stained. Let's do our, let's see what we got right now. We can make condensed milk. Condensed eggs. There we go. Oh, we have to, that's right, we can't do them all. I wish you could do them all at once. That'd be nice. Multi-cook cooktop. Use my kitchen. Make eggs. And applesauce. There's got to be more. There we go. 108. There's 108 applesauces. And that's all they're going to be, so... Looks good. Uh, all right, so then we're going to go. Okay, so that kitchen looks really nice. Let's go ahead and check out our. I'm getting hungry, huh? Well, we'll eat some of our profits. Have some eggs. <laughs> Man cannot live on egg alone. All right. Um. Oh, look at the baby's room. My wife, was, it's time for us to have a baby. But. We have to kind of go to bed at the same time for that to happen. Here's the kids' room. Never mind. Moving right along. Ooh, look at that. Like a library with books and stuff. This is really nice. Uh, and then we have our oh luxury bathroom. That is much, much better. Look at that tub. It's a jacuzzi tub. Yeah. It's funny that it's in the kids' bedroom. Like, what about us? Anything on the basement change? I don't think so, but we're going to put stuff in storage real quick here. So, 
Come on. Condensed milk. The applesauce we're going to leave. Actually, we can take these with us because we're going to... Durr. No, move the whole thing. Can sell that. All these things we're going to hold on to. We'll sell those at the end when we're done. But, uh, yeah. So that's going to be our sales items for today. We're not going to make much. Maybe a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks at the tops. Um, let's see our bedroom. Ow. And we still have freaking weird double beds. <laughs> very nice, though. Oh, much cleaner. Very European style. Like with all the, the uh, scroll work and stuff on there. And the hangout room, very nice. Is this TV turn on? Nah, just for looks. Just for looks. The rich farmer. We're broke, actually. Actually, we're not. I mean, we got th almost $30,000 still. So we're just going to hold on to that and use what we got. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I've even got my own lawn tractor, pickup truck. I mean, things are going great. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure... Like, that other truck that's in-game, we just didn't need it. I don't know why you'd want to buy that. It's so expensive. I, I can't imagine anybody not fixing up their farm right away when they start. So, I don't... I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and head north and see these greenhouses that I was told are for sale. And then we'll go ahead to the fair and sell the rest of the stuff off. And I think that's it. I mean, we really... Uh, pretty much now it's a waiting game, so the rest of our... Stuff comes to fruition. We're going to wait. I'm going to wait to plant more stuff until all of those things are done growing. And we'll see what happens. You know, I'm scared to plant stuff now. I don't know how long it takes. I, I might look it up. I don't think they're, I, I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're just going to wait till next year. I need to find out what the growth stage or growth time is for uh, plants that are planted. Uh, how many days it takes for them to grow. It's definitely like at least 15 days, but I want to double check that to make sure. Where is this greenhouse? I, it was on the map. Oh, it's up there. Uh, I thought it was off this road, but I was wrong. There they are. I can see them now. Off in the distance. So let's go ahead and head that direction. And see what we see. There we go. Buy. How much? 145. Okay, so these are so they are different prices, but they're just m more expensive and th this is look at how big this is. But you can imagine all the things you could plant in there, you make some serious money. Dang. So that's that's what we need to get into. We need to buy all these greenhouses and let them grow. Stop each day. Push the button to let them get watered. That's all you got to do. No fertilization, no equipment. It's, it's all handwork. It's all easy stuff. So I think that's where we're going to kind of invest our money. I wonder if you could buy at Orchards, too. I don't I don't think they have Orchards for sale. Now, in uh, Farm Expert, which is what this game, like it was the spiritual predecessor, if you will, um, you could... Um, You could buy or, or buy fields and turn them into orchards, which was cool. Farmer's Festival. Why don't you stop in the middle of the intersection, you fool? Yeah, I almost died the other day. Had something like that happen. Okay. Care to talk? Care to talk? Good afternoon. Care to trade? Care Absolutely. to trade. Take this. $89. That's a good deal. That's $1,000. That's a good deal. Take those milks, too. I have no idea how much those sold for. But a pretty good price, I think, because we're at 30000 bucks. Sell. $2,000. Yeah, so we're back up to $32,000 in no time. So it's like we got the house redone for almost free. Sweet. 
So we're going to hold on to that little chunk of change till next year. Um, so, all right, I'm going to drive around a little bit and see what else I can do. We've got about five minutes left to make a nice half an hour video. Uh, but I don't know what to do next. I think we'll just kind of wait and see what happens maybe tomorrow morning. So I will be back, folks. Our buying is going to be sooner than later. These, this greenhouse set is only $55,000. So, and the reason being probably is because it needs some work. You can see here that it's, um, some of these are pretty run down, but we can fix that up. No problem. And turn this into a really nice place. So I'm going to see, maybe I'll get lucky and one of these will actually be cheaper. I'm going to keep looking at these. I think there's one more on the map. So, uh, but those are in bad condition, and so that's actually a good buy for us because we can take the time to put them together and fix them. So I'd say by next year, then, we'll be into the second set of greenhouses. By the next county fair, we'll be making some serious jack. So there you go. That's where the money's going to come from to buy all the equipment to grow the farm. I guarantee it. So I'll be back. And so the last one is the most expensive, <laughs> $270,000. That will be the last one that we buy, most likely. But I could see that happening in two to three years. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be buying that soon. So it should. Be. And the other downside with this one is it's so far away from our house. It's like at least a five to ten minute drive, which I'd prefer to. And there's no. Where the heck's the road? That can't be it. I drove over fields to get here. I saw it off in the distance and was like, oh, there. But see, this is not. That's not a road. Maybe it's on the other side of it. This is a nice, you know, it's huge. It's got a lot of greenhouse space. But honestly, the $55,000 one has almost. Now, oh, see, that's not a road in either. What the heck? Is that it? These roads all peter out. Uh, he said peter. Uh, no. Err. Okay, well, this one's out in the middle of nowhere. It's a good thing we have a four before. Good to know. All right, so that's, again, our future is in the $55,000 field or uh, greenhouse. We're going to go ahead and buy that. Um, I wish you could buy them with social points because I could, if I had, if they had the social point, you know, buy, I could actually buy it now and start refurbishing it for next year, but we'll get it up and running. Uh, so I think by... Possibly by the end of this month, depending on what kind of food we have in 15 days, uh, eggs and stuff. We need about $20,000 to do that. Uh, but if not, you know, sometime during the year next year, we'll be able to pick that up and get it producing. So pretty sweet. Uh, all right, guys. So I'm going to head back to the farm here, and we will see what happens in the morning. And that'll be that. So we are arriving at Homestead. Here's my field planted, ready to go. I'm a like I said once again. I'm a little scared that those fields have sprouted. They're not supposed to do that. I don't think. I think we're gonna lose those crops. To be honest with you, I I, I may have to plant them later. I thought they said any time in September, but they're they're gonna get freezer burn. That's <laughs> what's gonna happen. The, it's gonna freeze this winter, and it's gonna kill those stems. So I'm afraid that they won't germinate, or they'll they'll die. We'll have to see next spring when we wake up, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll have to buy straw and hay, which sucks, but it's not that expensive. I'm hoping against that anyway. All right, so I'm going to go to bed and fast forward to tomorrow and let's see what we have in the morning. My wife and I are out of sync. Now she's in bed and I'm waking up. Let's see. I have nothing to eat. My solar pen has increased my respect. Uh, respect, man. All right. So today, yeah, we're going to milk the cows and all that stuff. I just want to see how our greenhouse is doing. Just leave it. I'm well rested and I feel strong again. Getting stronger. Gromit, quit eating my garbage, dog. Quit it. He's going in my garbage can and picking stuff out. It's so funny. He stands there like, hey, get 
What do you think this is, huh? Oh, oh yeah. All right, so we'll run this episode a little bit over because we are we are done. Today's the sixteenth, and those are finished, so we can harvest this crap and have another big sale today, and maybe buy another greenhouse. I don't think we're gonna make that much, but are these ready? But these are not ready. Arr! And I think for my recipe, I have to have both. You need green peppers and peppers. Frigtastic. Rats. Okay, well, it is what it is. We'll have to put those in storage, and we'll hold on to them. And so it's not another episode. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got you all excited. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll keep you on for a minute or two more. We'll go ahead and milk these cows and collect the eggs and uh, see what the menu has, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was about my little almost accident last night. I was coming home from a wedding. And I was near Columbus, but out a little bit in a city called Mount Sterling. And there is this uh, intersection where uh, you come to a stop and the road, you're basically joining up to a main road. I didn't realize that at the time. It just was like country roads. And um, so there was a stop and then the other two roads kept going. Well, I looked and the way that the angle, the cars, the roads came together, I was going... How do I explain this? It does. It, it did not come in at a 90 degree angle. The road was very angled when it came in to join this main road. So you had to look back and behind you to see if the road was clear. And so I saw there was a car coming ahead of me, you know, but way off in the distance, you know, but they're moving at like 60 miles an hour. These are, you know, back roads. And uh, and so I looked back, checked my six and there was nobody there. But there was, but I, I didn't see anybody. I was real careful, and I pulled out, and all of a sudden I heard this beeping. I'm like, what? And I look back, and sure enough, there was a car in my blind spot, so I had to slam on the brake. So now I'm in oncoming traffic, stopped, and this guy goes flying by, you know, and so then I'm like, great. So then I had to get off that lane because now I'm in the other oncoming traffic's lane, and now this guy that was far away is almost on top of me. So I go, you know, slamming over into the other lane, and, and he's like, beep, and like skidding his wheels and stuff, and I'm like, were you not paying attention? Like you didn't see me have to stop in the middle of your lane. Like I had no clue I was there. Um, but still, I mean, it was my fault because I missed, I, I, I misread the intersection, but anyway, it was a really scary situation. And I almost got into like a 60 mile an hour head on collision. It was super frightening. And I was really shaken when it was over. And I'm just like, thank God, you know, both people saw me and, and, you know, and were able to, to, we were able to not crash. But I, I hate driving. I'll tell you what, Columbus is horrible to drive. And they got so many places where it's like the lanes just end. It's like, oh, by the way, you have to be three lanes over now. Bye. Lanes are over. They're closed. You know, it's like it's just all these like and everybody drives really fast and aggressive. I think that's, you know, one of the reasons why that almost happens because the oncoming guy was going way too fast and he wasn't paying attention. He was just being super aggressive. And it's like, OK, look, like I apologize. And it was my fault once again. But you could slow down just a hair and pay attention to what's going on around you. So anyway, I, I hate those kind of intersections. But in the, in the bottom line is, it, you know, it was a bad intersection. It was, it's not a safe intersection. It's one of those, like, weird situations where you have to check, like, behind you and to the right, where, where every car in the world, for the most part, has a blind spot. Most cars have a blind spot in that area. So anyway, it was a scary situation. I'm glad that nobody got hurt and I'm glad my car did not get destroyed, but it was a frightening moment, man. I'll tell you what, I was like, wow. Don't move them all to the pantry. And wifey's cooking breakfast, so we'll just leave that. Uh, move to pantry and there we go. So we're storing more up. Like I said, I think the next big thing is going to be at the end of the month. Is I'm just going to kind of wait till that happens. So I will not see you guys again. Uh, now, in real life, just be patient because obviously I have to play through all that. So it takes me a while to just, you know, I play this on you know spare time sometimes, and that's when I advance the game. So just be patient with me. I will continue to advance it. But uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this day today as we got ourselves up to $32,000. Our goal is sixty. dollars so that we have about five thousand dollars to survive the winter, uh, and um, maybe plant some stuff in the greenhouses. Though I don't think I don't. I'm gonna have to look into how to handle the greenhouses in winter. 
they may continue growing fine, but they might also just not grow. So I don't know what the answer is there, but we'll figure it out. So anyway, have a great day, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time on Farmer's Dynasty. Things are going really well, and now we're making some good money. Once again, once we buy that second greenhouse, I think we're going to be you know, smooth sailing at the end of each year. So we'll, we'll start really accumulating some money. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.